Hey everyone, this is Red X Rain here with another episode of Let's Play Parasite Eve for the original PlayStation. So, uh, we're almost done here in the museum, but I went and uh, over the break, I went to the precinct and had Wayne put the, uh, if I could uh, highlight it here, the enter to, to, enter to commands feature from the uh, handgun that we got from the uh, T-Rex boss battle, and I put it on the rifle. So we're actually almost done here. Uh, the museum went uh, quite a bit faster than I thought it would. Although this is video four, I think, right? Sure, why not? And we're almost done here. Um, just some loose ends to sort of tie up. And so we're here back on the uh, third floor. And I'm basically just gonna retrace my steps. Um, to the Triceratops room, where we had that mini-boss battle. Let's see if we can uh, get into a fight. Yeah, well, here we go. This would be a good way to show off what the uh, Enter 2 commands uh, is like and why it's just so frickin' useful. So, as you can see, I got a Roman numeral, Roman numeral 2 there, so I'm gonna shoot this one three times, and then I get to do it again. This is my Roman numeral one, and I can select a different target, and so I'll shoot him three times. So it's like I get, uh, well, not like, I do get six shots if I want. Or, alternatively, I can uh, uh, do three shots against him, and then go in here and do my heal or something, just to refill my, just to show how it works here. So see how cool is that? Now, no longer do I have to choose between healing and attacking. And we don't need any of that junk. So yeah, I think uh, between burst and enter two commands, uh, those are the most important uh, attributes that you're going to want to have really on, uh, on any weapon that you choose. There are, uh, I've alluded to the, uh, the Chrysler building, which is a sort of a appendix to the game. It's an extra level that you can play after you've beaten the game one complete time. Uh, it has, you know, weapons that, uh, actually has, like, enter three commands, which is really great. And, uh, you know what, I think I, uh, I think I went the wrong way. I made it this whole time <clears throat> without getting lost in the museum. And then right here at the end, I gotta go mucking it up. So we get a little sequence here. Not quite sure what caused that earthquake. And then they just throw us in this room, which I always thought was sort of disorienting. And we've got this little uh, this little back area here with a couple of chests. Another tool. And another handgun, which also has the uh, Enter 2 Commands feature on it. I don't know if they're just trying to give you hints to, like, really use it, or in case you lost the other one, I don't know. I'm gonna skip this fight. I think we've seen enough fights in the museum. And there's another one of those Eve's slimy doors. So you know we're on the right track there, but there is a uh, pretty important uh, item pickup that we couldn't get to before. And this is why I originally came down the stairs, but I forgot to enter that room and do the little earthquake FMV. Nope. And another fight. I'll skip this guy, too. And here's another reference to Final Fantasy. Little, uh, little chocobo statue there. And so we've been in this... We could have gone into this room before and answered this question. Uh, photosynthesis caused oxygen. 
Uh, oh, well, geez. Okay, well, I'll trade a Medicine 3 for a Medicine 3, I guess. Uh, but if we had came in here, this glass wouldn't be broken, and you couldn't come back here and get this very awesome upgrade. Uh, let's see. I have a full inventory, so I'll have to do some shuffling around here. I will drop off just, uh, I'll drop off this handgun. I'm not really going to use it. So we have the CR Vest 2, which has really good defense and everything, so let's check what's in here. We have one of my, uh, let's see. And, well, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to pick up whatever I drop in there anyway. The Super Tool. And we're going to do some more uh, upgrade magic here, like I did with the uh, HP Max. Because I, I still don't want to lose HP Max. That's, that's a great thing to have on a piece of armor. So what I'm going to do is make sure I, because I have lots of armor on me right now. Uh, first, we're going to use the Super Tool to pull the parameters away from the uh, old vest there. And now we'll take the HP max boost and we'll put it on our brand new CR vest. So, yeah. That's one solid piece of armor. And actually, the B jacket also has uh, resist poison on it, which I have plenty of tools, I may as well use it. And so I'll throw that on there. Make a great piece of armor even better. And you know what? I don't I don't need to carry around this handgun. I'm not gonna use it. So you may be wondering, you know, why you know, you're almost at the end of the game and there's not really any enemies that can poison you anymore. Why would you want resist poison? Well, if I was to play the X game mode, which is the that extra mode where you go into the Chrysler building. Uh, you get to keep your arms, your uh, your armor, and your weapon uh, from your previous playthrough. So you can enter the game with, you know, really great equipment that resists poison. Um, so yeah, that's why. And uh, here we have the telltale sign that we're close to Eve. Ew! Sounds so gross. And we definitely hear her singing. Don't you know any other songs? This is like one of the most uh, iconic moments from this game. Very unsettling. sound effect is creepy and this Shh. yeah pretty crazy heavy stuff with all her crazy ass arms And I'll never forget that. This was the, uh... I was comparatively young, I guess, when this game came out. I was, like, 13. I'll hold on a second. Save my story for later. gonna do some Tai Chi apparently. <laughs> it's good for the baby. What is this? That's oh, the goo. I always thought that looked sort of... you can rewind it if you like. I always thought that looked sort of phallic. The shadow of this monster getting up. Which is sort of what I was going to talk about. The uh, the game makes a weird, uh, I think, a turning point here. There's a lot of very uh, sexual, anatomical sort of gestures and, uh, I don't know, 
Maybe I'm reading too much into it. Maybe I'm just a pervert, but it, it gets very sexual, I think, right at the end. Not that I'm a prude, it's just a observation. And speaking of being a prude, I remember being 13 and, like, knowing that that part was coming up with, you know... I mean, she doesn't have nipples or anything, it's not really that bad, but... Um, thought if my parents saw me playing a game like that, they would <laughs> take it away. I'd get in trouble for CGI boobs. Well... And so they... They do tie up all of the uh, loose ends here. Get into the uh, get into the gist of how Eve came to be. I'll tell you, but I have to be in the back seat of the car. So now we're getting this connection between these three women, I suppose. I, uh, Maya, Eve, and Melissa. We haven't seen this little flashback in a while. And so now we get the context. And in case you could not guess it from previous flashbacks, that is uh, our old buddy, Dr. Clamp, who started this whole thing. So yeah, I guess he really is sort of the actual villain. I mean, I think Eve is, is more of a, you know, threatening presence. I mean, she can control animals and uh, everything and make slime, make people into slime. Parasite Eve is a better title than Dr. Clamp. <laughs> I don't know that I would have played it. So it's sort of a complex uh, idea here. Uh, you know, I, I, I think this, this game does have a really, really great story. And I think what makes it so... What makes it so interesting, but also what sort of makes it more scary, is that it is, I mean, to a degree, it's it's based on, you know, certain science. Like, you know, mitochondria is a real thing, and it does evolve, and, uh, you know, it's not a completely uh, fabricated, you know, aliens or anything. Like, well, aliens are real, too. I know they, you know, they are, but... I think you get what I'm saying. It's science fiction, but it's also a little bit of science fact. It's a terrible realization for I there. But, you know, I'm trying to tell her that it's not really her, it's just her kidney. But. Still, that's uh, it's hard stuff to hear that you're. She's basically killing her sister. So it adds a emotional sting to the whole uh, the whole horror of these events. Again, these guys so they always come in sort of out of context in it. Sort of shakes up the uh, the flow of the game for me. And so now we get treated to a whole bunch of uh, video sequences here. Just a ton. It's 
sort of a modification of the theme, actually. Hadn't noticed that. Da -na -na. Sort of stuck out to me. Yeah, but when has the army ever listened to, uh, to reason? That's okay, I'm sure they'll, uh... I'm sure they'll come through this time. I always thought that was kind of a forced aspect of the story. His, uh, connection to, uh, Lorraine, his ex-wife. Seems kind of forced to me. I don't know. It's not nearly as heart-wrenching as, like, the whole Maya thing. One fighter jet down. Let's see how the rest of these guys do. Wow, I can't believe that that didn't work. Yep. It was actually a very realistic explosion. That looked more like a, a model got blown up. Like how they used to do in the old Star Wars movies. I think it looked like real plastic. Apparently they had to, uh... They realized that they were getting a little frivolous with their FMV sequences, so we just get these awkward stares <laughs> from, uh, Aya and Daniel here as they wait for the helicopter to land. There's a few of those in this game, actually, right here at the end. <laughs> and so now it all sort of gets tied together. And now everyone's together here. The Nimitz. These guys are real stock characters. They don't even get faces. <laughs> I don't even remember their names, honestly. Even though it's right there. Williams. I've already forgotten it, and I'm reading it. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, we'll just turn Manhattan into a, uh... The next Chernobyl, you know. Who would miss it? Well, she's thinking about it. I guess there's uh, really no other choice for humanity. I mean, Again, I'm sorry, Daniel, but I just don't feel for you on this one. Felt a little bit more for Ben, but we haven't seen Ben in forever. His son? Oh, great. More uh, useless crap to hold. <laughs> like the awkward cough from... <laughs> from Aya. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Luckily, Daniel, uh, he saved us this time, apparently. Another modification on the uh, theme. A little bit closer to the original. And 
more footage of helicopters flying. And there's the Chrysler building, actually. I know I've said it before, the, uh, the slime or whatever in the sewers reminds me so much of Ghostbusters. So does this part. I mean, the whole... Well, Ghostbusters 2, I guess. The whole, uh, the slime and the iconography of the, uh, Statue of Liberty and everything. But selfless soldiers. Now that's another one down. It's now or never, Aya. You gotta do it. Aya's just so selfless. Right through the hand. Squish. The slow look up realization. Where Aya really comes into her own and This is it. Bam! Although that's not really... I like the splatter effect on the camera sort of thing. Not exactly how a nuke works. I think they uh, could have just called it a missile. Nothing too nuclear about that. And down she goes. Oh, jeez, I wonder if France will take it back now. I didn't keep the receipt. I can get a store credit, maybe. Well, all right. Looks like uh, I did. We didn't have to do anything. We just beat the slime. But of course... Things are not quite over, are they? Awesome. All their crazy freaking hands and arms and claws. A weird prompt to save if you want. I'm not going to save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you giving me nothing but useless crap. Meta. That doesn't look like our rifle at all. Diving right into the heart of the situation. You go, girl. All right. 
So, this is where I'm going to end this video for now on this, standing on this pile of, of goo. And when we come back next time, we'll take on Eve one last time. So as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.